Hello, it's Jeanette with Geo Amazing Paper Crafts. Thank you once again for joining me in my craft closet. Today I have a sweet little project for you. These are little uh, wedding table favors, and I'm going to call this my little Kiss Kiss purse. Uh, the reason I call them Kiss Kiss purses is because when you open them up, you have not just one, but two. Hershey Kisses that fit inside. Isn't that cute? And these are dark chocolate, my favorite. Okay, two will fit inside here. I even have a sentiment in the middle, and I have a magnetic closure. And guess what? I am only using one little magnet, and I have this little strap on here. Isn't that cute? Now this thing measures two inches wide, one inch is d uh, deep this way, and about one and, oh, I'd say one and three quarters inches tall. And then, of course, uh, I don't know how big this it is with the strap, but you can make the strap as long or as short as you want. So let me show you how I put this together. It's so much fun to do and so easy. And I am making use of the Tags and Labels Framelits dies. And I'm going to be using uh, the second to the largest of the, the tags, okay? And what you're going to need is a piece of paper. Uh, I'm using some DSP from the Timeless Elegance Collection. And this measures six and a half inches uh, this way and two and three quarters of an inch this way and all I need for uh, uh, this part of the purse is this tag and um, you'll, you really only need about two and a quarter by three inches not even that much and the reason I'm using that much is because I want to follow a pattern that's on this timeless elegance paper see how pretty lace that looks now before I take this to the uh, simply scored I'm gonna take this to the big shot because the big shot uh, die cutting machine because I want to score everything all at one time so I'll be right back okay here I am all right, I'm taking that off. I did put a little bit of uh, removable tape on here just to make sure that it stayed, stood still. Okay, and then I'm ready for the next one because I'm making a bunch of these. Okay, so um, I'm going to be bringing out my Simply Scored scoring tool. And it is right on the side here. I want to make sure that you don't get the glare from it. But I do want you to see the numbers, so I'm sorry if there's a little bit of glare here. Okay, so for this little piece here, I'm going to take it to uh, the corner here with the little uh, uh, scallops on this side. And I'm going to score, if I can find my scoring tool, here it is. I'm going to score at the one inch. And I'm also going to score at the seven eighths inch. Okay and then you want to fold it in like this and this. so you'll have like a, a 1 8 inch uh, gap like this you can see that okay all right now for this one here you are going to score this at now uh, if you notice I do have a pattern here I want the pattern uh, the way I'm, I'm looking at it where it makes sense uh, I'm putting this straight up like this and I'm going to score this at two inches. Okay, I'm going to score it at three inches. I'm going to score it at five inches and six inches. Okay, and then I'm going to turn it clockwise and score it just at one inch. And that's all you need to do. Okay, I'll put that away now. And now I'm going to just uh, fold and burnish all my score lines. Okay, so once I get all my uh, lines scored and burnished, I am going to take off this one little tab right here, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut up, and I'm just going to just kind of cut this way too because um, I need to cut just a little piece off of there and I'm going to go ahead and just make a little bit of a notch there. I'm cutting this way, I'm folding it because it's easier for me to do that and then I'm going to make the notch like that. Okay, just a little notch, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, it just makes it a little bit easier for you. Okay, I'm cutting in and I'm making the notch on the smaller square. Okay. 
folding it and I'm cutting okay and then I am notching Ooh, I cut a little bit too deep here no I didn't okay so it should look like this okay when you're all done and I'm going to bring in my silicone craft sheet because that helps me to not get glue all over the place or my adhesive all over the place. And I'm going to use some fast fuse adhesive just on this tab right here. Okay. And then I'm going to fold this like this. And line up the score lines on the top and the bottom. You can see here. And I always make sure I'm on camera. All right, there we go. Okay. And now, um, this is going to be your front since you folded this. This will be your front right here. So I'm going to fold this and this, and then I'm going to put some more adhesive right here. Okay, and we are just going to close this little top up like that. Okay, and since this is the front, I'm just going to pinch those sides in. You don't have to make a uh, too much of a crease uh, because now with this little. Um, Cover. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to be gluing it on here. But before I do that, I want to add a little sentiment in the middle here. And what I've chosen is this um, from the one big meaning, a little, a little thanks. That little one right there. And it fits just perfectly right in here. And I think I'm going to be using some early espresso ink because it kind of goes really nice with this. And I'm just going to eyeball it in here. I'm not going to try to be too perfect. Okay, hope my head doesn't get in the way. There it is, right there. Okay, all right, now I'm going to take some uh, fast fuse adhesive and just put a little bit on the back of this and very carefully line this up. A little bit is going to be sticking out of both sides, and that's okay because this isn't quite two inches, this label that I'm using or this tag that I'm using. Okay. I think that's close enough. All right, now it's going to close like that. Now um, I'm going to go ahead and put the magnet on it, but before I do, I'm going to take one of these little, uh, uh, they're metal rimmed pearls, okay? And that's why I only need one magnet because the metal actually will adhere. See, it's going to adhere. See that? So what you want to do first is take your uh, <clears throat> take your little purse, open it up, lay it on its side there, and take the adhesive off of this. Now I think I'm going to use um, my tweezers. Ah, well, I'm all thumbs right now. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and put the the rimmed pearl right there. Okay, <laughs> and now I'm going to pick up the magnet like that. Now I could actually center the magnet a little better. It'll be okay right here because uh, it does want to move around a little bit and it doesn't match up perfectly, but it will adhere. And now I'm going to take a glue dot, a mini glue dot, and I'm going to put the mini glue dot right here on the magnet. Okay, and then I'm going to close this. Okay, and let the magnet stick, open it back up, and then press that magnet, make sure that it adheres pretty good, and there you go. That's the purse part made, and now I'm going to make the strap, and I'm using some uh, silver 1 8 inch ribbon, and all you need is about 3 and a half inches of this ribbon, okay, and I'm just going to cut that. And glue dots. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to put some glue dots uh, uh, right in between the two score lines of that tag that you did. But before you do that, you want to fold the glue dot. You kind of want to roll it on itself, fold it, pick it up, and here, let me make sure you're seeing this. And you just kind of want to put it right there right on the edge okay can you see that right there by the on the edge and then take your ribbon and you want to just pinch the ribbon right into that glue dot and now take another glue dot on the other side and roll it roll it in your on your finger if you want 
and I'm going to put it on this side. Okay. And now I'm going to take the ribbon and I'm going to fold it over like this. Make sure you don't twist that ribbon. And I'm going to pinch that in. Okay. And now fill it with your Hershey Kisses and you're done. Isn't that a quick and easy little purse to make? And they are going to look so cute on the table for the wedding party. So I hope that you try this. If you need any of the supplies or the tools that I used in this video, um, please go to my website at geoamazingpapercrafts.stampinup.net and I'll be happy to be your demonstrator if you don't already have one. So once again, this is Jeanette with Geoamazing Paper Crafts and you make it a great day. Bye-bye.